Hey there, my name is Caitlin McDonald with the Social Speak Network. And in this video, we're going to be diving into national observances to include within your content marketing plan. If you've been following along, the past couple of videos have been about your content marketing strategy, your content marketing plan. And now we're diving into my favorite tactical advice about filling in an editorial calendar for your business, and that is by incorporating national observances into your content calendar. So as you build out your digital marketing plan or your content marketing plan, we recommend downloading our complete list of national observances. And I'll be pulling that up so you can see the example of it. It is available for download. Um, if you go to our blog post, there are a few links in there to download it. So with this national list of observances, start by deleting any of the events or days um, that don't apply to your business. Think outside the box though. Don't just say, oh, no, don't need that, don't need that. Actually think about what you're doing. Um, so for example, could you celebrate national chocolate chip cookie day? Uh, <laughs> think of the ways that you could uh, fulfill some goals that you have within your digital marketing strategy with that. Is it a way to give back to your office and have some great behind the scenes photos by bringing in chocolate chip cookies with them? Or is it a way to showcase how much you care for and care about your clients and your customers? Can you bring everybody that you have an appointment with or all of your clients chocolate chip cookies um, on National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day? So it, by thinking outside of the box, um, you know, you can come up with really great, unique solutions to some of those uh, issues and goals that you've identified within your digital marketing strategy. You can also think about as you're going through uh, the list, if anyone on your team supports organizations uh, that rely on the exposure of different national observances. So once these observances have been identified for your business um, to highlight within their content plan or their content um, calendar, uh, be sure to, to assign, excuse me, that observance to a specific individual on your team. So make sure that they know to consider the goals of creating the content for that specific observance. Um, make sure that they're thinking about any promotions related to that day or that month, or partners that they can approach for joint marketing efforts. In the last video, I brought up American Heart Month. Um, and so if you are in health and wellness, for example, partnering with larger organizations and providing resources for them for that month could be a great way to grow your own business exposure and reach more people within your target market online or position yourself as an industry expert. So let's jump into some of those national observances. Um, so let me quickly share my screen over here. Perfect, awesome. So as I mentioned, we have a complete list of all of the national observances. They include the month, or excuse me, the day, the week, and the month. So I'm just gonna highlight a couple um, for each month. <coughs> so in January, we have New Year's Day, National Keto Day, National Compliment Day. The third week in January is the National Mocktail Week. Um, and it's the National Blood Donor Month. So you're gonna be able to see a lot of different things in here that might relate to your business or some of those technical actions that you can take in your digital marketing. February, National Hemp Day. Uh, Valentine's Day, National Margarita Day. I know I'll be celebrating that. It's also American Heart Month and Black History Month. So all very, very you know, important things. Well, <laughs> I guess National Margarita Day doesn't really fit in with that very important thing. But all things that you should consider incorporating into your um, content calendar. March, I'll just go through a couple more of these. National Employee Appreciation Day. Um, National Pie Day, there are always some fun memes to do around that. 
Spinach Day, again, if you're in health and wellness, um, Brain Injury Awareness Month, Women's History Month, uh, then we have April, April Fool's Day. I always forget to do something for that, so having it on a calendar helps me remember, oh shoot, that's right around the corner, what fun thing can we do on social media or on our email list for that. Um, Zoo Lovers Day, Child Abuse Awareness Month, so if you support any causes that have to do with you know, helping survivors of child abuse, making sure that you're talking about that um, is gonna be really important during April. Uh, May, Memorial Day, Mother's Day, Celiac Disease Awareness Month, June, this one's fun, National Go Barefoot Day. Um, we also have Pride Month, Men's Health Month, um, Peanut Butter Cookie Day, <laughs> obviously Independence Day is in July. Uh, we also have National Grilling Month, so maybe a, a couple behind the scenes posts of having um, a, a grilling competition with your employees could be a fun way to engage more individuals within that, um, that content marketing plan. Uh, August, Respect for Parents Day, National Soft Ice Cream Day, uh, Family Fun Month, September, Labor Day, National Chewing Gum Day, and um, let's see, Kids Take Over the Kitchen Day, that's sort of fun. October, we have National Chocolate Day and Halloween. <laughs> Uh, one of my favorites is the Adopt a Shelter Dog Month. Um, many of you have talked, heard me talk about Yip Yap Woof, uh, so I am all for National Shelter Dog Month. And then November, we have Hanukkah, Christmas, Cookie Day, Human Rights Month. Oh, excuse me, that's December. <laughs> and November, we have Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday, Thanksgiving. Gluten-Free Diet Awareness, Alzheimer's Month, Adopt a Senior Pet Month. Um, so those are really all the months there. I switched November and December, but you, I'm sure you're smart enough to figure that part out. <laughs> so it's so important to include the national observances within your editorial calendar. So as I mentioned, we do have the link in the description uh, that goes to the blog post that talks about your content strategy, content marketing plan, and the national observances and goes through some of the top lists there. Uh, but we also do have that download link to download the entire spreadsheet that I just showed you so that you can actually go through and edit it for your own organization. So you can actually think outside the box and have that full list there so that you can then add that to your own editorial calendar. Um, and so these help you stay relevant, they help position you as industry experts, and really we've seen incorporating national observances um, as a major benefit for your business and um, to really see an ROI from the digital marketing that you are doing and from the content that you're creating. If this video has been um, informational for you. If you've gotten anything out of it, I would love for you to subscribe to our channel. Uh, we are frequently posting on videos about creating that content calendar, about how to better your digital marketing. Um, and so if you want more information on that, please click subscribe. Additionally, as you're thinking through some of uh, the ways that you can incorporate a national observance, maybe one of those kind of off the cuff ones like National Avocado Day um, or Margarita Day. Um, take a look at them. There are some really fun ones in there and leave a comment. We want to see what unique and fun ideas you have. Um, so please take the time, leave a comment, let us know, you know, what you're thinking about doing and how you're thinking about um, kind of looking outside the box as you're planning ahead for 2019. So thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next time.